strong here on this underground. And your, oh, Phobia just got taken out there by an ACR. Look Check out this battle going low as Moho coming back up top. He's going to be hanging out, putting some shots, taking out Forerunner as Vape Ray, and now they're going to be taking that flight to the middle. Big kill there by Forerunner. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Weekly Warfare. Very special episode tonight. We have two show matches for you. Right now, we are in match number one with Optic Nation up 1-0 over Juked. And it is time now for game number two as we head to Carbon. Golden Boy, as we get into the game, go ahead and talk to us a little bit about the map. Well, uh, Carbon's one of those maps where it flows really well with uh, CT. I mean, excuse me, with Search and Destroy. Uh, not so much with uh, CTF. I, I, personally, I feel like it's more like the grid of uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Uh, you know, where grid was an S&D exclusive map for Black Ops. Right now, it looks like we're going to have our boys juked on offense first. Optic Nation will get the first crack at defense, and we got Assassin on your screen. Assassin, many of you guys would know him from Team Fear, who won a big pro circuit event for us. What event was that? Was that back in uh, Raleigh? I believe so, too, yes. Too long ago, 2011 Raleigh. there. Yeah. Anyway. yeah, it was too long ago. It was a year ago, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> <okay. laughs> right now, we got three guys left here for Juked. What do you got going on with Optic Nation? It looks like Assassin got picked off early on. Yeah, well, uh, Spa uh, excuse me, Saint is going to be taking out Nade Shot. Uh, Wreck, your guy, getting taken out by Fears, who's just been playing phenomenal. 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 Wow. That's a tongue twister if I ever want. Anyway, so Fears, uh, moving out through the map, he's... Uh, He's roaming, and this is a very smart thing for him to do because it, you don't want a guy like Fears roaming. Simple as that. He will he will get the best of you every single gunfight, and uh, that's pretty dangerous. And, of course, you have Twizzy watching that B-side. So they're playing it real safe. All right, it looks like the bomb was down, and it looks like Saint was going for that bomb. It was picked out. Image is going to get some revenge, picking up a big kill there on Twizzy. Now he looks like he's going to have to double back towards the A bomb site before going after that bomb. And of course, remember, when you're on offense, never mind. Too late. The round is over. Who got that final kill? That will be Fears. And you see here in the kill cam, he saw the guy's head peeking out little by little, went to the steps, and he took him out. A very steady TP90 shot. That'll be optic Fears for you. And uh, they're going to take round one. We're going to head to round two, where the sides will switch. And who do you want to look at? You okay. know, I actually want to stay on board with Optic Nation. I want to see how they play offense on this map. And it looks like we got Twizzy grabbing that bomb. Now, talk to me about Call of Duty Black Ops. Was Twiz an objective player? Was he trusted with the bomb a lot? Yeah, most definitely. He was a, he was a true objective player. Uh, he kind of was the moho of the team, if you looked at it, when they were on fear. Um, he took that role of playing the objective. Very smart player, too. It looks like we already have a player down and space is taken out. And it looks like just three left here for Juked and Image taking all kinds of damage over by the dump truck. He's going to be forced to hide. Meanwhile, we got Assassin just hanging out in the middle of the map, hiding behind a barrel. What's going on with the rest of Optic Nation? They're just chilling. You're going to have Assassin watching that A doorway or the B doorway. And uh, Twiz, it looks like his sights are set on the B bomb site, so he's going to be sending some stuns that way. And Nade Shot is going to be creeping his way in there too, trying to support the B bomb site. It's an easier site to, to plant and uh, expect to plant there any minute now. All right, well, Juke not really doing much here. Oh. Saint, though, Saint getting ambushed there by Nade Shot and Twiz, and he will be cleaned up immediately. Meanwhile, Wreck, he is the last player over at B. It looks like Image is going to be over at the A bomb site, so we're going to stay on board with Wreck, who has taken all kinds of fire, and finally, he is going to be cleaned up by Nade Shot. Optic Nation just going in on this Juke team right now. Yeah, Image is going to be the last man standing. Twiz has planted the bomb. It's going to be 39 seconds. Nade shot. Beautiful jump over with a drop shot on Image, making it 2-0 on the count. You're going to see in the kill cam here, Nade shot running around. Knows that the guy's going to be around the corner. Drops down right away with that PP90. Cleaning up the kill. Taking crotch the shots, second. man. Yeah, crotch shots. You know, they count for a lot. <laughs> Crotch shots are so popular in Call of Duty, especially on our broadcast. I don't know why people aim right for the center of the body, but it seems to be working. Well, you know, in, in Call of Duty, there's no emphasis on really aiming for the head like there was like in a game like Rainbow or Shadowrun or even Halo. So you can aim for the head. And this one, though, which I noticed has some more damage modifiers, like with the MK14 being a one-shot kill to the head. So, you know, there's some knowledge for you, Puckett. A little dropping knowledge. That's what he does. I like it. 
That's why I keep Golden Boy around. Looks yeah. like Image Only is reason. gonna pick up a big kill but be <laughs> taken out immediately. Meanwhile, Swiss is just chilling back B, picking up a kill of his own on Wreck, and now it looks like Saint is gonna be all by himself with the bomb down. Once again, it looks like everything is pointed to Optic Nation going up 3-0 at the start of this game again. Yeah, I, well, what you're going to see here is Assassin's going to continue to roam around the A site, and Twiz is going to continue roaming around the B site. They're just going to wait for the plant to go down if it does, and uh, really the pressure is going to be on who's our LMS? It, it, it will be Saint. Saint. Now, Saint's a player that you do want in last, though. I will not lie. I've been speaking a lot of good things about Saint. He's a smart player, knows exactly what needs to be done. Uh, an up-and-coming star, man. I'm telling you, watch out for this guy. Oh, yeah, and where did Saint get his start? I know you've run into him a few times at local tournaments up here in New York. Yeah, actually, uh, there's a local tournament called NJ Halo where we go and compete on a regular basis. I play Call of Duty there and sometimes Halo. And this guy, Saint, has won the FFA 2v2 and 4v4 three times, all of them in a row. So Winning his Modern Warfare 3 player in the Tri-State area? I would in the Tri-State area on land for sure. Dropping it down. Saint's the player to watch, and right now I'm watching him do nothing, taking the <laughs> long route to that bomb, finally spotting a player over at the B bomb site, wasn't able to connect, taking fire from behind. He is pinched between two awesome, awesome shooters, and it looks like Optic Assassin now going for some nice flashes, trying to get that shot with the ACR off. I just can't believe that that grenade didn't kill him. You're going to see a, a Saint taking some shots. Bomb will be down to uh, behind him, and he's going to be rotating around. Doesn't have a lot of time left on the clock. 26 seconds to make something happen. Uh, let's see what's up with Saint. Can he do it? 1v2. He knew Assassin was over there at the A-bomb site. Doesn't see him now looping all the way around. There's Assassin right in your back as Assassin gets the final clutch kill. Check him out, hiding behind the tires. Saint runs right past him. An easy finishing job here from Assassin. Shots in the back, round over. Optic Nation just one round away from going up 2-0 in this series. That's the thing about Assassin. He knows how to play search and destroy, gets himself in good positions. You saw that when, when Saint came out of that doorway right in front of A, he had all the opportunity in the world to kill Assassin if Assassin would have stood there, but Assassin was better than that, and he moved. And uh, we're going to see what's going on with Twizzy, who has the bomb. And uh, can they make a move to her B right away? Right away is the question. When we get a chance, I'd love to see what Nade Shot is doing for Optic sure. Nation. So far in the series, he is 6-2. and two. Seems to be the aggressive player rocking the SMG here. Meanwhile, it looks like all of Juke really just hugging walls, running around the perimeter. You got Image over there watching A over on the B bomb site. You're going to have, uh, it looks like Wreck and Saint kind of working together. And then Spacely, he is really just going to be chilling in that middle room. Yeah, Wreck is going to get taken out by Twizzy with a headshot. Now, Nate shot what he's doing and, and what all of Optic's doing. I, I like what they're doing, I should say. Um, they have certain people playing certain roles. You're going to have Fears and Nate shot being the aggressors. Assassins staying back with that, uh, with that you know, assault rifle. And same thing for Twizzy. He's going to be your main objective. They're just playing it real smart. And, this, you know, amateur players and a bunch of players should just take note of how they're playing it. Big already round for Nate, Nate shot. Already two kills. And he is going to end it with the knife on image. Check that out. Yeah, Nine and two. Taking off the scoreboard yeah, is Golden Boy for the final kill here. I don't think so. Nade shot picking up the game ending kill there with the knife. Optic wow. Nation sweeping Jukes in game number two. Nate shot nine and two. You can look at the stats here real quick. No player besides Saint got kills in that uh S D game on Carbon. That's crazy. Yeah, you know, not really proud of the guys there on <laughs> Juke. You see Image, he only had one kill. Looks like he lagged out and had to come back in there for that final round. Yeah. But just a rough series for Juke as it was all Optic Nation. Taking a look at the scoreboard once again. Nate shot at 9-2. and two. Uh, Looks like Twizzy 3-1. and one. Assassin 2-1 two and one with two assists. And Fears also dropping the two kills with an assist but goes negative one. Overall, though, it was all Optic Nation and game number two. They're up 2-0 in the series as well. They only need three game wins to take the best of five. Can they do it? I don't know. I mean, Juke, the, you know, struggling in that last one. Um, their, their chances aren't looking too good for this next S&D game. All right, well, I'm hoping Juke gets fired up in between games here as we head to a commercial break. When we come back, we'll have game number three, Search and Destroy on Underground.